everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we have a new background. This is the first like sit down video we're filming in the new studio and the backdrop isn't perfect. The lighting's not perfect and the audio, I haven't heard it yet. But I'm guessing it's not perfect. Because I don't have any of the soundproofing in this wall yet. So I am scared of how this is looking, but hopefully I can get it sorted out. This is kind of the test run of this room. And then from here, I'm gonna have to make it better. So if you hear anything, if you see anything you don't like, let me know down below and I can try and fix it. But the show must go on with or without good lighting or good audio. And I don't wanna wait too long on this video because I am super excited and hopefully you guys are too. It's been a hot minute since we've unboxed a mystery box and I'm excited to get into it. So a little while ago, ColourPop launched mystery boxes. I think it was just like a little small launch, like once they were gone, they were gone because I went on their website to check and see if they made any more and I didn't see anything. So I'm happy I got these. We're not only gonna be unboxing them, but I'm also makeupless right now because we are going to do our makeup with only pieces that we get in these mystery boxes. So there were three different mystery boxes. There was a $29 one, $49 and $89 one. If I'm looking at this picture and it's the correct picture, which I think it is. And each one is supposed to have almost like double the value inside. So if you like what's in your mystery box, you would have got like a deal on it basically. But the catch with it is you're obviously not choosing the products that are gonna be in here. So you may love them, you may hate them, who knows? I feel like mystery boxes are amazing for like people who are open-minded about their makeup. Like they like all the colors of the rainbow. They wear fun, different lip colors. So I wanna be that today. But one thing that I found was interesting is these two boxes are the exact same size, but I'm assuming one was the 29 and one was the 49, but I don't know how I'll be able to tell. I'm assuming one will just have more products in it or better products, I don't know. Okay, but without further ado, let's dive into these products and see what we got. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one. Hopefully this is the smallest box, the $29 one. I don't know though, it's already opened because my mom picked it up at the mailbox and then she actually opened it and sent me a picture because sometimes when she gets the mail, I'll ask her to send me what's in the mail because like I'm all excited and she'll send a picture. So she just did that without me asking and I like shielded my eyes because I was like, that's the mystery box that I'm opening in a video. I don't wanna see what's in it. So I thought that was kind of funny. She opened the mystery box and kind of ruined it, but I don't remember what I saw. I just saw lots of products. So let's dive in. Okay, you guys can have the first look. How's it looking? Am I gonna like it? Okay. Okay. Okay, so here's a picture of what I'm looking at. There are quite a few products in here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products in here. That is pretty good. I wonder which one this was. I feel like we're gonna know after opening the second little box which one this is. So stay tuned for that. Okay, let's go through these products one by one. I'm interested to see what's this. Shimmering dry oil for the bod in the shade Sangria. Okay. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, this is like a body oil. I love the look of this shimmer. Look at that. It's just so fun to look at. Okay, then we have a Lux lip oil. I love lip oil. I'm actually wearing a lip oil right now. I'm kind of addicted right now. Okay, here is that lip oil. It's in the shade Gen Zen. I don't know what really to say about this. I wonder if this is sticky. <gasps> See, that's what I love about lip oil. They're not sticky at all, but they're so hydrating. Okay, I like this. Then we have a pressed glitter in the shade Hi. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Look at that sparkle. I love pressed glitter, but you guys know, I don't really do anything fun with my makeup, but for some reason with moving into this new place, I'm like, with this new move, 
I'm gonna start dressing nicer and doing my makeup more fun. So maybe these products will help me with that. Okay, then we have a jelly shadow in the shade She Grown. This is cute packaging. I love jelly products simply because they're just fun to touch. Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, this does this box feel like it kind of has a theme to it? It's almost like fall colors. Did they do that on purpose? Okay, this is so cute. This is from an Animal Crossing collection. I didn't even know ColourPop did an Animal Animal Crossing collection. Yeah, they worked with, they worked with, literally with Nintendo. I swear ColourPop has so many collections coming out and they're all so cute. I really like ColourPop makeup. Oh my gosh, and I love this. It's like all these beautiful purples. Able Sisters, Taylor's Tickets, Custom Design, Serene Sable. Ultra Glossy Lip, and this is just like a little creamy orangey color irreplaceable. Oh, this is a mascara. Act natural defining mascara. Let's see the wand. Oh, not too bad. I like that wand. Okay, I was not expecting to have a mascara. I don't even know, have I ever tried a ColourPop mascara before? I don't think I have, so that should be fun. Ah, oh my gosh, this body oil is spilling all over the place. Ah, oh my goodness, what do I do with this? Oh no, now my hands are gonna be all slippery. Okay, so that was everything that was in the first box. So far, I like everything. I'm excited to try it out, but we have two more boxes to open up before we do our makeup, so let's carry on. Okay, second box, let's see. Ooh, we got like a pink theme in here. Ooh, oh my gosh, there is so much stuff in these boxes. Here is what my initial First glances, K. Okay. Is this the mega box? Because I just assumed the biggest box would be the mega, but this is so full. I definitely think we're going in order. The first one was the smallest because there are a ton of products in here. Let me just get all these products out. Whew. I did not expect there to be so many pieces in here. ColourPop, this is fun. This is fun. Okay, this is definitely the medium box. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. So this was $49 with a value of $90, which totally makes sense because literally 12, 12 products in here. So let's, let's go through them. We have another shimmering dry oil. This one is Mai Tai. I could smell this when I opened the box. This is watermelon face milk and I can smell it. It's watermelon. <laughs> I'm just throwing the box with so much intensity. Apply two to three drops into palms, warm between hands and gently press into skin. Use as needed. How do I know if I need this? I mean, it smells great, so I'll use it. We got another pressed glitter. This one is in sweet and sour. I like that. Oh my gosh, another Animal Crossing palette. Look how cute this one is. I used to play Animal Crossing on my DS. I don't have a Nintendo Switch, so I haven't really played it recently. I know you can like play it on, I think the PlayStation, but I just, I haven't, but I think it's adorable. And I love looking at people's accomplishments on the games. Here is that palette. We've got yellows and pinks, which I feel like would go kind of good with my outfit, some yellow and pink. A ColourPop medium fluff brush. Okay, a brush. I don't think I've ever tried using a ColourPop brush. Ooh. Oh, it's nice. I like it. It's like the perfect highlight brush. Next we have a super shock shadow. Now I have a few of these already and they are so pigmented. Here's this one. It's like a brown with gold in it. This is a super shock cheek stain in Georgetta. Love that. I don't think I have any blushes that are this red color. I love ColourPop's packaging. It's so cute and colorful. It just makes me happy when I look at it. Oh, is this the same mascara? Oh, okay, this is the Ag Natural Defining Mascara. I'm not gonna open that up because I just got one, so we already know how it works. This is the So Juicy Plumping Gloss. Plumping, <laughs> you guys know I love a good plumping product. Cream Gel Liner. Wait, is this for your eyes? I think this is an eyeliner. It's weird because it messes with my head because it's pink, which makes me think of my lips, but you can also have pink gel liner for your eyes. So I don't know which one that's for, but I, I'm sure you could use it for both products. 
probably. This is a lippy stick. Oh, in like a brown shade. It's called Sassy. I wanna see what this looks like. Oh, fun. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. Okay, and the last thing in this box is the Stay On Point Just Sharpen Me lip pencil. And here is the color. That goes really well with the lipstick they gave. Okay, I'm seeing another theme kind of with these products. It's like pinks and browns I'm seeing here. Now this is, this is great value. And nothing has been too crazy, you know? If you don't really step out of the box too much with your makeup, I still feel like these mystery boxes would be good for you. Like I don't see anything that isn't really neutral in this box. 49 divided by 12. So that would make each of these products four dollars i'm so lost was this the mega box did i open the mega box by accident i just assumed that the big one was the mega well let's open it and figure out okay the last box i think is the mega box let's see oh my gosh there is so much stuff in here. Is ColourPop even making money off these mystery boxes? Here is what I have staring me in the face, you guys. Look at how many... This is so much stuff. Now I know you guys have told me before, why am I opening things already? Anyway, you guys have told me before, mystery boxes are a great way for companies to like sell their overstock. And I know that that's probably what they're doing for sure. But I do think it's such an amazing thought. Like if you have overstock, this is such a fun way to get rid of it. And I feel like it's very good for value for the customer. Okay, that definitely was the mega box. We have three, six, nine, 12, 15, 23 products in here. Let's start with what we know. This is obviously a body oil. Ooh, I like this color. This is Paloma. I think is how you say it. If in my next few videos, I'm just head to toe shimmery, you guys will know why. Oh, this is that watermelon one again. Okay, I am just going to set that to the side. I was just gonna say there really hasn't been many duplicates, but now I'm just looking. There were actually two Act Natural mascaras in the mega box, which we already got one in the small one and the medium one, and now we have two in the mega box. So now I have four total, and I only have two friends, so who am I gonna give these mascaras to? Oh, we also have another repeat. This is the pressed glitter that we got in the smallest box. I'm just putting all of the extras to the side because I don't need to open those. Okay, then we have a Revitalizing Moisture Booster in papaya. I gotta smell it. I don't even know, what does a papaya even smell like? It smells good. This packaging caught my eye right off the start. It looks like a paper milk carton. I love it. Lightweight Daily Moisture Avocado Body Milk. Love this packaging. Let's see. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I gotta smell it. Mmm, it smells very fresh. Very fresh. Then we have a turmeric brightening serum boost. Did ColourPop come out with skincare and I just completely missed that? Uh, because this all seems very skincare-like. Brightening serum boost. Mmm, that smells citrusy. I was expecting turmeric. Okay, that's all for like the skincare pieces. Now let's get into this. This caught my attention. Cream gel color, I love this packaging. Look at that. We've got some hollow going on there. I'm excited. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's a light blue gel liner. We are definitely going to be using this. Okay, we have two lip pencils here. Let's see the colors. This one, is this the same? Oh, that is the same. Okay, hold on. We have one duplicate. Let's see this one. This is in the shade Ashton. Nice, kind of like a little bit darker than my nude. Ooh, this is new. Lippy sticks. Nice. Wait, we had one of these already. Yes, lippy sticks. It's in like a red. Oh my gosh. What is my makeup gonna be by the end of this once I put all this together? I can't use everything, obviously. And then we have another one of those in Poison. It's also a red. It's like a more burgundy red. Oh my goodness, a cream gel liner in like an electric green. Oh my goodness. This makeup is getting crazier. Oh, this is in 
the shade Make Love, and it is an actual liquid eyeliner. Awesome. Okay, I was hoping we would get that. I'm just flying through this stuff so quickly at this point because there are just so many. Here we have a cream eyeshadow in Moonbeam. Another jelly eyeshadow. This is in Seg... Zero? Sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong. It's like a really pretty orange. Ooh, this would look good with the blue eyeliner. Another pressed eyeshadow. This is like a brown. It's cuteness glitters. This is a super shock cheek pearl eyes. So it's kind of like a highlight. Nice. This is our only highlight. So we will be using that one for sure. Two more Animal Crossing palettes. Oh, I think this is the first one I got. Okay. I'll put it over here. I don't really think it's a big deal if they do duplicates because I'm guessing most people aren't buying all of the mystery boxes. They're just getting one. So usually you wouldn't really have that problem. Here's this palette, it's very neutral. Okay, then we got two glosses, one the same as the first one, and then the other one is in Doozy. Okay, that was a lot of makeup. There was way more pieces in each box than I was initially expecting. So I'm just gonna get everything in line, figure out what I'm doing with my makeup. I'll probably end up winging it, but let's do the charity portion, and then hopefully I will have my thoughts all together. All right, you guys, as always, going to pick a charity you guys submitted. Today's charity is the Bullies in Need. Okay, over on their website, it says, Bullies in Need is a rescue dedicated to the pit bull type dogs in Ontario who face euthanization daily in Ontario's shelters. Bullies in Need aims to educate the public about these breeds, their history, and their temperament. Bullies in Need seeks our foster and adoptive homes which are able to facilitate exceptional care and training. Okay, that charity along with all the other charities you guys submitted are so, so important. So that will be today's charity. And now let's get into doing our makeup. All right, so I just moved you guys in a little bit and I organized everything on the table into lip pro actually, whoops, I organized it wrong. Okay, now it's in lip products, eye products, mascara, glitters, brushes. I have it all laid out. And I did my foundation now and also contour off camera because I initially didn't do it because I wasn't sure like, are they gonna put face products in the mystery boxes? It makes sense that they didn't because how would you know the skin tone of who's ordering it? So I'm happy they didn't, but I wasn't sure. But now that I didn't get any face products, I did that off camera. So I have my foundation on now, but I have no eye makeup or lips. So let's do the face products products that we did receive first. So we only have one highlight and one blush. So those are the ones that we're gonna use. Now this blush I'm pretty excited about because I don't normally wear blushes that are like this color. I'm a little scared of it. It's like a very red blush, like a peachy red. Also, I still haven't figured out what I'm doing with the rest of my makeup. I think I'm just going to YOLO it, which is just, such a terrible idea, but we're gonna do it. That blush looks nice. I look warm. I always feel like with red blushes, it always gives me like the vibe of like, I've just been outside playing in the snow because when I'm out playing in the snow and I'm really, really cold, like for real, my face gets very red. So it gives me that vibe in a good way. Then we have this super shock highlighter. I'm gonna use the brush that came in the mystery box for this because it's like the perfect highlight brush. Now this is super shock and I better be super shocked. Okay. I like it. It's kind of like a champagne gold color. Okay, I'm also going to take a little pointed brush and I'm going to wait. Oh my gosh. Whoa, this is a jelly. Oh my gosh. No wonder it wasn't really transferring onto my brush. It's a jelly and now, oh, okay. Okay. Why did it take me that long to realize that? I'm going to put it on with my finger because jelly products go better with like a finger or like a sponge. Do the exclamation point on my nose. Love it. Loving it. Way more shocking now that I'm putting it on with the correct medium. This is a jelly. Does it say on here? Super shock cheek. No, it doesn't say. Are all the super shock products jelly? This is the super shock shadow and it's not jelly. <sighs> Someone's gonna be hearing from me. So there's the face products. 
loving it. No complaints there. Actually really loving these. The colors worked great on my face. They were nice. And all ColourPop products are also cruelty free. That's one of the reasons why I love ColourPop so much. Okay, I need to like look at these palettes. We have so many options for palettes and I don't freaking know which one to use. I think no on the neutral one just cause I'm trying to be fun. So it's between the pink and the purple. <gasps> and I am wearing a purple turtleneck. I think we should do purple. Hold on though. Let me think. Purple with like a blue gel <gasps> with like this hmm, and this. The thought is there. The execution, not yet. Do I have to sneeze or not? Just tell me. I can't, okay. I'm actually gonna take this gel liner. I know it's supposed to be a liner, but I'm crazy. I am crazy. So I'm going to use it like an eyeshadow. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm just gonna, OMG, no turning back now, everyone. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, thank God, I thought Kylie just launched her swimsuits. Wow, I should not have been that concerned. Ooh, I love that color and it kind of goes with this, which by the way, my clips, I'm obsessed with crochet. You guys know that. I found these and they're actually for a baby or like an infant. And I was like, perfect. I love them. I'm loving this dual purpose. Like it's not just an eyeliner. It's whatever you want it to be. Okay, well that was the first step. So if that gives you any indicator of how this look is gonna turn out. Okay, and then I had taken a bunch of this purple and I think blue and purple are so beautiful together. So let's just meet those in the middle. Oh my gosh, I just love blue and purple together. ColourPop shadows are also very pigmented. Like if there's glitter in the pan, there will be glitter on your eye, which is nice, which is how it should be, but it's not always the case. Where the two are meeting, it's actually blending surprisingly well, even though one's a cream and one's a powder, it's actually going quite well, which is scary because that means something bad's gonna happen. Okay, there is that blue and purple moment. I'm loving it, so that's good. And then I have a few other pieces that I would like to try. This glitter is calling my name. I feel like it will complement the eye very well. So I don't really know how to apply glitter, but I want to. I just wanna take a fluffy brush with that same purple and then just blend it out a little bit. And then I'm gonna put the glitter up a little bit for like a fairy moment. Okay, now we can take the glitter and I'm just gonna like, ooh, loving, love that glitter. <gasps> can you see that? Is that showing up? It's quite pretty in real life. Make that accidental fallout on purpose. It extends into the highlight. <gasps> ooh, what am I doing today? I should probably think about that before I go too crazy. Okay, that's beautiful. I love this, what is this? The high pressed glitter. Beautiful, love it. 10 out of 10, would buy again. But I don't have to because I have a duplicate. I think I should put the blue in my waterline too, just to be extra crazy. <laughs> I remember the first time I put makeup in my waterline and it was such a traumatic experience. And now I just like poke in my eye with a brush, no problem. Okay, from the same palette, I'm gonna take the darker purple and I'm just going to blend out my lower lash line a little bit, just on the corner, just like so, just to deepen it up a little. Cotton candy eyes, so fun. Okay, I feel like one of these, <gasps> I just found a yellow. Yeah, yes, low, that didn't work. I'm gonna take this yellow and I'm gonna put it in my inner eye corner. Just as a little bit of highlight, not expecting too much from this, but yeah, it's actually doing a lot. It's quite nice. Look at the difference. That made a difference. Okay, the eyeshadow is looking very fun and exciting. I have something in my eye. I think it's glitter. Beauty is pain, it's okay. All right, next I'm going to take the ColourPop liquid liner. This is a black liner. I'm just gonna do a thin with a little wing. I think that's a good idea. Plus it uses one more product. <gasps> 
What? This is, is this gold? This is in the shade Make Love. I think this is gold. Hold on. <gasps> it's yellow. OMG. That is not what I thought this was going to be. Okay. I'm doing it anyways. I'm not thinking. <gasps> ah! Wow. This, I totally thought this was black. What if we would have opened this up and it was like green or something? Like for some reason, the gold actually kind of works with the bow. Not what I was anticipating, but I'll, we, we like it. Okay, that was a shocker. This was a yellow liner, but I think it looks good. It's actually playing into the shadow. I do think I would have enjoyed a black liner more, but this was fun for a change. Okay, now we're on to mascara. There were four in total of these mascaras, so hopefully we like it. We could be set for life. Oh, and actually there was no lashes. I'm kind of surprised. I thought there might be a lash or two. It's looking good, I guess. It's separating and lengthening well. Okay, here is what it looks like. Mascara, no mascara. Kind of ignore the corner here. I accidentally ripped out all my lashes in the corner because I had something stuck in my eye and I was just like vigorously rubbing my eye. And I, yeah some lashes ripped out. <laughs> so yeah, if you have any serum that grows lashes back, leave it down below for me. But I like the mascara. Usually I like mascara off the start, as long as it's not like too dry. My real judgment comes from wearing it for a little while because if it transfers onto my lid, it's a no-go. Okay, so the eyes are done. I like the mascara. I like the liner. I like the shadows. I really like everything, honestly. It's quite fun. It's a fun color combo because it kind of like works with my outfit. But now onto the lips. This is gonna be a little bit harder because we have lots of like reds and fuchsias and then like darker nude shades. Let's use this lip color in Ashton. These are very creamy lip liners. I really like them. Okay, I'm actually really liking the color. Now I'll fill it in with this sassy lipstick. Mmm, it smells so good. Okay, then just to finish it off, I'm gonna use the ultra glossy lip. And oh my gosh, I love these wands. They're like a paintbrush. Love them. Everything smells so good. I just want to eat it. You guys, I am really liking this makeup look. I'm actually really surprised how much I like this lip color on me because I have never worn this color before. And I feel like this is the perfect time to figure out that I like this color on me because it's very fall and it is fall. So that's good to know. I think it's nice. It also doesn't take away from the crazy eye colors. It lets that be the focus. Well, you guys, I had a lot of fun unboxing all of these mystery boxes with you guys and then playing with all the things that were inside. There are still so many pieces that I have to try out and fun looks to be made with these new products, but this was a small little portion on my face. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also click the subscribe button if you want to see more. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.